Hello. It's saying I'm live, so I'm going to go for it. So, hello and a very warm welcome to my live. My name is Julie Sean and I'm coming to you live from the UK. It's six minutes past six on Friday the 21st of July 2023. How are you all doing? We've got to the end of another working week. Well, for some of us work, some of us play. Some of us about to start work who have to work during the week. So, hope you've had a good week. Hope you've enjoyed the energies that are going on. Venus in retrograde is hitting us now. So that's meaning all about love and um, and going deep within and being quite emotional. So we've had quite an emotional shift with our energies this week. So chill and relax this weekend. That's all I can say. Ready for next week. So well, next week, we've got the third and final 7-7 seven, seven portal, and then we're heading towards the 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate portal. Oh my gosh, all these exciting things that are happening. Um, as we mentioned earlier on in the week, we do have the third and final 7-7 seven, seven portal on the t Tuesday the 25th. We say it's Tuesday 25th, a bit of maths, 2 add 5 equals 7. That's why it's a 7-7 seven, seven portal it's the last one of this month the year blah, blah, and then we go into the eight portals and of course on the 8th of august we have the massive lion's gate portal but i won't talk about that today because we've got other things to talk about so what are we doing clear quartz for manifesting messages from the unicorns if you're watching me back as replay remember to put hashtag replay if you're watching now come on and say hello the reason being as i'm i'm on my laptop and i don't see who is joining me so you do when you're on the phone it comes up but on the laptop we don't know who's watching me at the moment i've got no one but i will keep going so the message for this today is clear quartz for manifesting and messages from the unicorns. So just in case anyone joins me um, later and they want any readings, I will may or may not be using the magical unicorn oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. You need to be over 18 for a reading. If you're under 18, you need parental consent and parent needs to be there. Not allowed to give legal, medical or financial advice. And it's for entertainment purposes only. If you choose to use it for other reasons, it's down to you, not down to me. So we've talked all week about different types of tools for helping us to manifest whatever it is we want in our life. We all want something in our life. <laughs> whatever it is, is the meaning of life. What is it? The meaning of life is, I don't know. Is it a number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it peace, joy, happiness? We're all here for an experience. Hello, Sally. Oh, I thought I was talking to myself then. Thank you for joining me. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's... <laughs> So lovely to join me. Hope you've had a reasonable week. So we are talking about different tools. We talk about meditating. I talk about journaling. I talk about essential oils. I talk about connecting with our spirit guides. And I channeled that amazing message from Damara. Now, anyone who missed Wednesdays Alive and has heard about me, oh, Judy's been to channeling. I have, well, I... It is now available. I cut and pasted the actual channeling and it is now available on my YouTube channel, Julie Sean 777. I will write that down. Uh, Julie Sean uh, 777 equals your tool. So, oh, that's got too many E's. I am charging. Um, so if you, YouTube, YouTube, hello, love the bird. Little one not coming till night, uh, mine till tomorrow now. Oh, okay. So you've got time to join me. That's good because I've not got much information about the clear courts. Woohoo. I'll go and watch it. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's actually there. It's a couple of days old now because I uploaded it quite late. Also, if you go onto my um, profile, it is there as well. Underneath, I put a post to say, oh, what an amazing um, live. This is on the Wednesday. And I actually put it in the comments, the link. So it is there. So if you just want to listen back to the actual channeled message, it starts, uh, I've recorded, well, cut it out. There's about 45 seconds of me talking, going, ah, oh, we're connected and here's Damara and she's here, blah, 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 blah. So I got that bit and then I go straight into the um, into the channeled message and then I finish the channel message and then it stops because <laughs> of the way I had to cut it because I suddenly realised I don't have waffle and I don't take a breath. I need to pause and take breath 
and then if I have to cut and paste a, a recording, it's there. So we've got some beautiful people here today. We've got our beautiful Lavender Moon. We've got our beautiful Sally. Um, I did message you back, and apologies for not coming back to you. Uh, <laughs> not being 100% today. Um, but that's okay, because I've had my sleep, and I've got my cup of tea which has now got lipstick, it's got lipstick, or I don't know, because it's got lipstick all over it. <laughs> so, um, so I've got my cup of tea, I've had two Jaffa cakes, so all is well in my life, and my daughter's messaged me, oh, it's all got, I was, I got terribly excited, I've been ordering off Amazon, other places also available, um, and I've forgotten what I'd ordered, and I'd ordered two new books, and I thought they were coming today, no, what came today was my food caddy bin liners. Food caddy bin liners are virtually impossible to get hold of from my local. I go to Aldi, I go to Lidl, I go on to Tesco. I just can't get hold of them. So in the end, I thought, I know, I'll order some off Amazon. <laughs> just as I was to go out to go live at one minute to six, getting it ready. Ding dong. Hey, you No, know, it's not a ding dong. And it was my food caddy bill. Yeah, I know. I ordered it. Oh, and I ordered my CBD tea bags as well. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, yes. But it's like, well, but they've arrived. And it's the first time I've ordered any of them off the thing. So, it's like a hundred of them. I just hope they're the right size. Because the last lot I ordered aren't quite the right size. And they were useless. I've been out. I know. That's basically what I can say. I've been out of sorts today. And so... In the end, I just, my mind wasn't there, Sally, and uh, and it's, I'm not complaining, I'm just, I'm being truthful, my mind was just, wasn't there. So, I put a telly on instead. I know, I don't normally watch telly during the day, it's not often I put the telly on. And I was watching something, um, it's quite, quite numb, brain and numbing. And as I was sitting there, my eyes were dropping, so I thought, I need to go to bed and sleep. So I went to bed for a couple of hours this afternoon. I'd have woken up slightly, well, Fridays can be funny days. Yeah, with a slight head. Um, I was going to say slight headache. Well, it's probably because I've slept, so I haven't had all my water intake. So naughty me, I'm drinking a cup of tea. But you, I'm so British. Oh, I need a cup of tea. It's boiling hot. I need a cup of tea. I remember when I was a little girl growing up, um... And my mum and dad would be having cups of tea on a hot day. And I'd be going, I don't know how you have a hot cup of tea. I want my orange. And I'd be drinking our orange squash and eating our lolly ice pops and things like that. Don't know. Oh, never be me. And here I am, 40 years late, 50 years later. Or, oh, give me a cup of tea. <laughs> it's got to be strong builder's tea as well. No sugar. <sighs> Absolutely. That's Yeah. Sally, it's, it's, yes, I've not really, well, not achieved, done anything today. I had a, I was up reasonably early this morning. <laughs> Actually, I was up before my daughter. We had a slight doodah this morning. What happened? I was wet, lying there in bed, uh, like I normally do. Set my alarm at slightly later than what I normally do. Cuppa is freshing in hot weather. And, uh, and I was <laughs> lying there in bed doing my morning Grounded, connected, protected, grounded, protected, connected, protected. Thank you for my sleep. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. All my morning thanks. Oh, I'm an amazing. I'm a more, I'm awesome. I've got this. I'm great. All my normal, normal morning. But as I was lying there, I was thinking, do you know what? It's very quiet. It's very quiet in the flat. Almost too quiet. Because normally in the morning when I'm doing this, I'm grounded, connected, protected. Thank you, angels. Thank you, bliss, and all that. And I'm there. Normally there's my little daughter sounding like a herd of elephants because she sleeps up in the attic. And normally there's boom, 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 down the stairs, toilet flushing, showers going. And I'm going, it's very quiet. You know, very quiet. Oh, well, you know. Da -da. And it's like, well, now I got out of bed and then I thought, I'll go for my pee. And then it was like, her shoes are here. <laughs> so I go, Anna, Anna. And there's this very sleepy, Whoa. I went, Anna, it's nine o'clock. And there's this, she doesn't often 
swear. My daughter very rarely swears. In fact, my son and daughter don't very rarely. It's because I do all the swearing in the house, okay? I do enough swearing for the whole universe. And there was this, ah! I was up by a drill! How, oh, 808! 808! How inconvenient to drill! How very rude! But look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, Lavender Moon. So there was this, ah! Unladylike word out of her mouth. It was like, <laughs> ah! She went, oh my God, my snooze didn't go off. My, and she gone back to sleep. I mean, how long she would have slept if I hadn't sort of yelled up at her? And the only thing is because I, I sort of fell over her shoes at the bottom of the stairs. That's the only reason I was near in there. If I hadn't fallen over her stairs, I wouldn't have said anything. And she would have probably slept in until morning, uh, lunchtime. I don't know. <laughs> Four minutes. 5 a.m. Is that sorting out all those dogs, though? It's probably the dogs that get you up. Does it exist? 5 a.m. It only exists when I have to get up and go and visit the, uh, get, go get a flight out of a country or I'm off, off to catch a train or anything. Uh, or you're sleeping in Glastonbury, first of all, and then you don't sleep at all. <laughs> so there was this, ah, this morning. So I went, <laughs> 20 minutes later, she appeared. She'd actually slapped some makeup on as well. <laughs> Not very well, but she's done a bit of... Done a me. She did a me. Quick plusher, quick eyebrow pencil, bit of li lipstick. See you later, Mum. I said, oh, you decided to go. She goes, oh, I work better at home. Well, then I get a text this afternoon at about quarter to six. Bing! <coughs> a lovely time in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. So then I get texts. She's going out with the girls after work. Well, she's there now. She's at the pub now. <laughs> so I was like, okay, girl. So I'll go there. So, um, so I'm sorry your um, sister's not coming to stay with you tonight. But you know what? You've got another evening to yourself to do. Woohoo, woohoo. Um, so, so Sally was up at 6.30 this morning. I have great plans. I do set my alarms occasionally, like 7 o'clock. But today, last night when I went to bed, I was so tired. I just thought, I don't need to get up this morning. Well, I had a, I did and I didn't. Um, I had a business meeting, a Zoom business meeting at 9.30, so I did need to get up. Um, but my alarm had gone off like 8 o'clock this morning, and then there I am for an hour doing my, you know, meditations and all, all that gobbledygook. Um, 6.30, 5 a.m., that's a flipping dogs, isn't it? It's 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, my God. They wake up when I'm outside and then... Well, actually, mornings are very nice. It is. Um, it, I mean, the morning sunshine and the air is so crisp and clear and stuff. And, yeah. And then you've got the whole day ahead of you. And then you get to 10 o'clock and it's like, I've got to crash out now. <laughs> sort of thing. Right. Okay. So that was our morning this morning. Um, and then I sort of was like... Uh, I did my business meeting. Yeah, I'm going to do this, do this, do this. And then slowly the energy sort of like, uh, like Sally said, you know, she was out of all sorts. And as the day went on, it's sort of like, well, I wouldn't miss waking up at that time. But drilling. Ah! Yeah, I know. I sometimes, because I've got the road and sometimes we get that. I mean, it's Monday mornings with the dust carts. So inconvenient, the Monday morning dust carts. Couldn't they do it a little bit quieter? I think they do it on purpose. Bang, crash, wallet. Oh, we're up early, so you can all get up early. Bang, crash. And we have, like, um, two dust carts. We have one for the food bin and one for the rubbish. So it's like, da -da. so we haven't woken you up with one rubble dust cart. Ten minutes later, the next dust cart comes. They follow each other. And it's like... <laughs> some of us don't need to be up at that early on a Monday morning. Some of us choose not to ever work on a Monday again. That is my life. I love it. Absolutely. Um, but I was going to actually hassle Lavender Moon. I was going to do a FaceTime because I need to sort myself out and get my plan. And it's like, I need to talk to someone about it. <laughs> I was struggling to stay awake, wanted to product it. Yes, I wanted to really, and I'd actually woken up, and as part of my medita or my routine this morning, I was going to do this, I was going to do this, and I was going to do this, and I was going to do this. What have I done? No, that's not true. I have actually, literally, literally just recorded the reading for the week ahead. Begin yeah, I know, I've done it already. Reading for the week ahead, beginning Monday. So I've actually recorded that. So I have actually done something today, but I had got loads of other things I wanted to do. I wanted a productive day, but it wasn't there. But now I've sort of, now I ha went back to sleep, um, had that nap. I'm actually feeling quite energised now. 
<laughs> I don't know what's in the air. It's 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 um there's a lot of energies. And there's there's this summer um and of course it, it's great. It's nice to blame. It's well, this is the typical human. We don't like to take responsibility for our own lives. We've got to take responsibility for our own life. But it's easier to blame other people than to take responsibility of your own life. I am going to blame. We have seven planets in retrograde between now and um, September the fourth. Can you can you believe that? we have between now and september the 4th we have seven planets in retrograde we have new moons we have full moons we have we've got the seven seven portal we've got the massive eight eight lion gate portal in august oh my god i mean can you imagine that in august we've got the lion's gate is opening and i'm going to talk all about that later not tonight because um because uh, yeah yeah today but can you imagine we have got seven yes seven planets in retrograde throughout the summer as well as the eight eight lion's gate we have new moons we have full moons we have first quarter moons we have um third quarter moons um i think the only thing we haven't got and i haven't checked this is any eclipses i think that is the only thing that we haven't got is we haven't got a, first words out my for duck's sake if you catch uh yeah exactly so <clears throat> so I, i'm not going to take responsibility i'm going to blame the energies etc but i'm also going to say that what's happening at the moment with all these energies people are waking up there's a lot of people are waking up and when i say they're waking up it's suddenly realizing that they're waking up spiritually ooh, ooh, but they're also waking up to realizing the control and realizing that actually what's going on in the world is that it's imploding upon us you know business people have been found out their lies are coming out people have been hiding lives lies this that and others people have been leading double lives and they've been coming out um, not mentioning any names, but, you know, this morning presenter, the TV presenter, Boris Johnson, all the MPs. Sorry, I wasn't going to mention any names. But there's a lot of things that have been going on. Um, money, um, interest rates are going out, the cost of living. But if people are all controlled with money and it's all money and things like that. And people are losing control and they're trying to get control back because if they can't control it's because this everyone's so unhappy and sad and it's like oh i can't control my own life so i'm going to control and dictate and people that so people are waking up spiritually as well as physically and this is why there's so much shit going on that people are realizing that actually i mean we were talking about this with sally um about um you know we were talking about lawyers and stuff and she made a comment it's like well it's all because it's money based but well, everything's money it's interesting at my dentist okay at the dentist um my daughter's um they said oh i said oh uh my daughter's due a checkup and she goes yes but she's no longer an nhs patient we've taken her off the books um i went oh does that mean and she goes oh well, we can see her as private now it means that they're not at capacity for patients at their prep, prep, uh, dentist practice oh no they're not at capacity for or patients because they would have said no we can't even see her they will take as many private patients as they can but we're at so say capacity of nhs the reason being is with the nhs patients they don't get any money for it they, they run at a loss and they don't get paid and blah 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 for their nhs patients so they she says and i said well if my daughter's no longer a member of the nhs maybe you can take my um daughter-in-law or you know no 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 and i went no oh. but no they can take on they they're happy to take on loads of more private patients so i said so you're not really at capacity for the number of patients and she looked at me and i said so in theory i said what it is is you are pretending because i said you've got more money for your private patients than you do for your nhs and she looked at me and i thought she's about to strike me off ah 
she's about to go fuck off you're no longer an nhs patient here and i said because quite clearly you're happy to say to my daughter yes we'll see you but not as an nhs patient it's because it's money 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 and she goes oh and i said well and i said well you know and she went no well we'll see as but it's all money everything's money and people control with money and i've got more money than you and da, 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 and we're bombarded with this but it's control 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 and people are waking up to it and then as soon as you step away from the programmed in lifestyle People don't like it because you're rocking their boat and they don't like what's going on. And this is why people are energy are shifting and we're picking up other people's shifts. So with all this energy that's going on, no wonder if you're a light worker like everyone who is on here, who is like Sally, she's a light worker, Lavender Moon. Um, I'm not sure who else is watching here, but we're all what we call light workers. Anyone who sends love unconditionally and does working for other people as service, um, we're all light workers. And it doesn't matter in what capacity you work as a light worker. As soon as you start giving love to people, no matter who they are, colour, sex, religion, you are a light worker because you are there to raise up other people. As soon as you stop gossiping about people, stating con uh, sentences that they can't prove, etc. like that. As soon as you do it from a place of love to raise people up and not bring people down, i.e. you're not gossiping about them, not slagging them off, you're not going to do and playing the part of victim. As soon as you start helping people up, you are a light worker. And those light workers can come in any form. Money makes the world go round. Yeah, I know. Exactly, but not necessarily. Um, well, it's true. Yes, we do need, because it's the, the, the way society has been created at the moment. Hi, Joe. The way society has been created, money is it and money talks and when you and it was interesting when people say oh there's a uh and this is the other thing is it makes me laugh people go oh oh there's a uh uh you know we no one's got any money and people haven't got this and haven't got that you go and see and go and, and go to the local golf club and see how many people there are at the golf club it's not cheap to play around you see them in their cars you see them with their golf clubs you see them eating and it's not cheap there you go to a spa how many people are at spas okay who stay over for the night at spas and you see the money when i was stay there at one of these spas for my birthday up in april um you know as people go oh no one's got any money no one's got any money they were fully booked and they had kids there also creates greed and desire yeah okay I agree it is there are people <coughs> unfortunately what is happening is the divide has got wider and wider there used to be um, and I'm not doing this we used to have the lower middle and upper class you know the lower class who haven't got the money they've got the middle class who are got a little bit of money more and then you've got the upper class, the rich people you've got the poor the medium and things but now those middle class people, the middle earners, are sort of gone either towards it. So we only really got two, two, we used to have three levels of, of people, if that makes sense. Ours who haven't, those who are resolving, and those who got the lot. But what's happening, the ones in the middle now, it's now bumped. So we're having, so the divide, there isn't like this middle thing. You've got either the ones who haven't got, and it's these people, and they are the, and like you said, money doesn't it just then is negativity. Absolutely green and stuff. I know they like to throw. But what it is, I actually find, and there are, and I'm not pointing people in things, because there are some very rich people who are very kind. And they are very generous. I know of a couple who won so much money on the lottery. I mean, it's ridiculous how much they won. But they have gifted so much of their money to so many charities and most of those charities are in their local area i.e the local cat protection league the local women's refuge the local you know library the local children's play group they have gifted so much of their money to so many go and they have remained and yes they bought yes but what they did they were living in a council house they bought their council house they haven't and they go well we don't need a big house we love our house 
but they bought their council house and paid off the mortgage etc like that but they have got so much money but they were so kind before they started and won all this money that they have actually maintained their money and they've gifted it to people okay yes they gifted it to their family and they bought their kids a cars and things like that yeah nice things but they didn't splash out on expensive holidays they haven't frittered it away what they do they're constantly gifting it and like i said mainly to local charities it's like me i believe in doing the local charities not the big charities because the big charities all that money goes in is to admin and their board of governors the money doesn't go to the ground work you check them out you know when you see their reports and go yeah we got a million pounds okay and how much of that million pounds did you give to the ground work oh well a thousand pounds only a thousand yeah because we had to pay our costs the advertising we had to pay our governors we had to pay the all this that and the other uh, look at George Michael he was an angel yeah there are people who who are who because they come from the place they re realize how hard but it's when there's people who and i'm not being horrible people who are born with a silver spoon in their mouth and they think they deserve it they are rude uh, disrespectful to everyone else and so on and so forth and it's those people who don't have the kind and loving things and then sometimes they're the ones that fall from grace and it's like poor me okay and it's not being odd because they've got to learn the lesson um we have five watching i love it so it's like we do have beautiful rich people but unfortunately they are in such a minority such a minority but we've got to share kindness there are a few good ones out there and it's in and it's the entitlement i don't like yeah it is because like i said this beautiful couple who had their own little council house and they were very kind and generous. even beforehand you know they would do things and they have remained more or less level-headed and in fact that because they've invested their money then what they've done they've invested their money so they're making more money which they can then gift back to their local society and it's people like that but it's other people who get all this money there was this guy um and he was an ex-convict or something and he was a drug thing and he won a lot of money on the lottery within a year he was broke he was actually broke but before he won the lottery he had a tiny bit of money a um, lot a lot but he had but what happened he won the lottery and within a year it was like 1.5 million or 2 million pounds and people going how dare he win when he was just as upright to everyone else but what did he do with his money he spent it all on drugs and drink and living the high lifestyle and suddenly within a year or 18 months even that less than 18 months he bought this he had to sell the house and he was back in jail back in jail because he just didn't know how to do it and he was disrespectful for this money easy come easy go lesson there to learn this couple i mean i think i'm not exaggerating they won something like 63 million pounds and yes like i said they bought their they bought their council but they didn't go and buy a big house they said well, we're happy where we are we just buy it so we don't have to worry about the mortgage and they never have to but what they've done is they invested their money and with the interest they make they then give it back to society and that's what i like about that so so there are people out there who who are very generous but there's this energy this energy shift that's going on and all i can say is we can take responsibility for example mercury and retrograde mercury and retrograde we all know mercury and retrograde is a problem with communication all right so this is a problem when mercury is in retrograde we all have problems with it now as soon as you know that mercury causes communication problems so rather than letting the mercury in retrograde go oh shite you make sure that throughout the whole time mercury is in retrograde your communication is spot on so don't turn around and go oh someone i told you that and they go i can't remember and you go actually it could be mercury retrograde affecting them so you tell them again 
and again and don't get annoyed or make sure you explain ex exactly don't go oh you know what i mean and someone says no i don't explain to them Expl because this is the thing is we know mercury in retrograde causes communication problems so don't go oh well it's a communicate no take responsibility and this is what it's saying the responsibility is when you know these planets are in retrograde rather than going oh venus is in retrograde and we're feeling all emotional and stuff like that be responsible you are aware that venus is in retrograde be aware it's to do with love it's to do with your emotions so then you are aware of it and then you can take responsibility so if someone comes to you and floods the tears of, and going into an uh, uh, into a, a situation feeling angry or upset just tell them politely you know what just take a breath take a pause calm yourself down before you go into the situation so you can harness and you can go yeah venus is in retrograde it's our emotion it's stuff <coughs> so what it is it's like taking responsibility rather than sitting back and going yeah venus in retrograde mercury's in retrograde it's a communication no that's the easy cop out what is the hard work is actually realizing it is what the effects are and doing that being doing that with the staff today absolutely so being aware that there are and being aware and sort of saying rather than and also like communication emotions if you suddenly decided right no one's working as well as they should do at work rather than going right okay what's the problem here just go right this is emotional time we need to communicate this in the book and say to people sit down calmly and go you know what i've been thinking the way things are going isn't working what do you think what do you think needs changing how do you and get them involved and get them to communicate back to you and ask them how do you feel you're working at the moment let's be honest and what do you think you could do to change rather than going right you need to change this you need to change that and bob and they go Ooh! go right let's communicate let them talk to me tell them what they perceive as a problem tell them to ask me what they think they can be changed tell them to go right let's do it calmly emotions and if they've been doing that yeah and this is what you've got to do it's like we are aware of the energies now someone out there who may be completely shut off to the energy sent one home with holiday dinner so he can distress and see how he feels what a great idea and when he comes in on monday ask him what, because often people have stuff going on at home people have stuff going on at home and you don't know what's going on and when they're having stuff going on at home it's like you know what what can i do is there anything because i notice something's not going right you've always worked really well really well what's going on it says something at home that i can help you with maybe you know you need some time off to sort out the mess and it's like you know i remember someone and he was getting really stressed and he was like well what's going on and, go, and apparently because they'd had a new baby and the wife was having severe postnatal depression so he was having a stressful job and then he was getting with a stressful wife with a brand new baby they were coping and stuff like that so then so i had a quiet word with him and go you know what there's something going on what is going on he said i'm not criticizing because you normally work really well and i know your mind isn't there and you know just tell me what's going on what's going on at home please tell me he's he's lovely and supported and this is it he will for supported and then they came out and he said well this is what's going on and they went well now we understand your mind is constantly with your wife so they turned around and said well i tell you what we could do is would you like a little bit of time off or maybe because he says oh you know she's not coping we've got to get the kid to school and pick up the other child at school and things like that so she said what can i do to help and what they came up with a plan regardless of them go right rather than you having to leave your wife early in the morning trying to get a brand new baby she's got postnatal and she's got to get the other kids to school and stuff how about for the next two weeks when you're at work you take the children to school come in work maybe come in at nine o'clock then you finish work at three o'clock to pick up the kids from school and he went 
And he goes, and he goes, no, because then you know you are helping your wife. Your wife doesn't have to worry, and all she's got to do is look after herself and the ma new baby. You are going to take the kids to school. You can do a few hours at work. Do you know what? During that time for two weeks, and she goes, and after two weeks, we'll reassess. And they, we reassessed him after two weeks and said, how's it going? And he goes, oh, it's going so much better. She, we're now getting a routine with a new baby and it's really helped. So she said, would you like another week? So they gave him another week of these part-time hours. And then it came back. And do you know what? Even though when he was working, only doing part-time hours, pro rata, the amount of work he was doing, pro rata in those few hours, had elevated to when before leading up to that change because they've been kind and we found out what was going on in his private life and it helped so much and this is what and like we said pro rata and people going well how come he's going and they go well if you've got a problem that needs to be sorted and like i said and then as soon as he'd done that for three weeks and he got the kids into a routine and then, then she was feeling better he came back to work oh yeah i can do i'll do the sorts of things again and and his work went back up to his normal thing but it was like they rather than saying, yeah, you're not working, why aren't you hitting your targets and boom, 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 and you're coming in and you're not, blah, blah, blah. it was like, why? what is it that's going on in your life? Always treat others how you'd be treated with respect and works before. Absolutely. And like I said, this guy, pro if you look at the amount of work, so okay, he was only working between nine and three, six hours. But when you looked at the quality of his work for those six hours compared to his like eight, nine hours when he was at work at home the week before, he'd have gone up. And it was de-stress and it was like bump and then when he came back he was so grateful he did what was very appreciative that we listened was able to have longer weekend to think things absolutely and this is where it is and do you know what when you retreat your client your pet your workers send someone home a day so he can be de-stressed and see how he feels yeah he'll feel love yeah and this is it always because he will feel supported um, he did. He was very appreciative that we listened and was able to have longer weekend. Absolutely. And then when he comes in on Monday and you can say, right, what is it that we can do to help you? To give you this moment to de-stress and take time. And you'll find that because you've showed him that respect and kindness, he will then give you more respect and kindness and you will find it will work both ways. And then if someone else complains and go, oh, how come you go, well, have you got a problem? You know, what is, you know, what is your problem and stuff? And not being horrible. But, and then people realise what a kind, respectful person you are. Because you've got to remember, when you run a business, that is your dream. It is not your employee's dream of running your business. Your employee is there to earn money to pay their bills to work their things. It's not your dream. And if you are disrespectful to the, your employees, your employees are not going to be respectful to you and help you keep your dream going. But when you do this kindness, you will find that the love and respect and, and um, not honesty, uh, loyalty will become so much stronger. And you will find this guy, because he's treated, will probably stay with you rather than changing jobs and stuff. So this is where it is respect coming. But when you realise that, you know, and he may not even, he may not even understand that Venus is in retrograde, we've got the new moon, new beginning. He's not totally aware of spirits and angels and things like that. But it's because we understand this energy shift that's going on, we can harness that and help. And we don't need to turn around and go, oh, you're feeling emotional because it's Venus in retrograde. He's going, what the fuck's that about? I've got this problem wrong. But if you sort of go, yeah, it's a bit of emotional time at the moment. Do you want some time off? And let's see what we can do to boom, boom, boom. It's like, because we can flip this energy to our benefit. So rather than Venus in retrograde being in control of us, we can step up and we can go, right, we are now going to be responsible for our own lives. And this is the problem with people these days. We're not stepping up and taking responsibility. We're not taking, we, it's easier to blame. Oh, it's your fault this has happened, your fault. And I know jokingly, I sent a message to Lavender Moon and I said, oh, I'm going to blame this. 
Oh, and I said to her, I've got a choice. I can either step up and take my own responsibility. Now I'm going to take a cop out. I actually messaged this to Lavender Moon. Actually, now I'm going to take a cop out. I'm going to blame Venus in retrograde. LOL. She knew I was joking. But it's when you take responsibility. And when you take responsibility, you remove the excuses. You remove the reasons why. You remove the obstacles because you suddenly realise that it's your dream, your life. And yes, there is a financial crisis going on. But you've got the responsibility and those chances are people are raking really good money out there. They are built, starting businesses. People are going, why are you starting a business when there's a financial crisis going on? Well, why not indeed? You know, let's, let's be positive about this. Let's be, you know, there's ways of making money. You can Google, you can Google how to make money. Give me seven different ways of passive income. It's different ways. I've been talking about it last year. I remember last November. Last November, I started talking about people about you know this is going to happen. The money, the the cost of your gas and electricity is going to go up and boom, boom, boom. And I said rather than sitting there going, oh my god, I can't. Going, what are you going to do? Because you realise it's going to cost you three hundred pounds extra a month. What are you going to do? Rather than sit there going, oh, I haven't got the money. What are you going to do to bring in? that 300 pounds a month and I had this amazing girl and I sat there and uh, she downloaded my PDF uh, with the hints and tips and then she messaged me and she said you're quite right she said I can sit here whinging and moaning however I can otherwise be proactive and she put in proactive and she actually with her passive income she set up a few things she was doing and she was bringing in like £500 extra a month. And I said, yeah, even though it's not going to hit until May. I said, that's £500 for November, £500 for, for January, December, January, February. I said, that's £2,000. And it's like, whoa, yes, changing your mindset. Exactly. Hello, Jeanette. So this is true, changing your mindset and suddenly realising that actually I do this. And you're suddenly realising my mindset, saying I haven't got any money. But then it's like, well, where is your money? And I, I got paid today. I got, pay, I got my payment today. I got a payment today. Yes. And I went, thank you very much. And it's like, wow, thanks for this money. And then I did a little bit of money move. And my daughter says, why do you spend your time moving your money, even if it's just for two weeks and then you've got to move? I said, well, for two weeks, I move that money into my savings account. And for two weeks, I'm getting interest on it. And then when I need it to pay the rent, I move it back because I can't pay directly from my savings account. It has to go into my normal account. My savings account is a special savings account and it won't let you pay out of it. You have to move it from a savings account into your current account and then I can pay my rent. Sounds complicated, but not really. And she said to me, my daughter says, why do you do that? Moving your money all the time. I said, because if I've got spare money, Instead of sitting in my current account that doesn't get any interest, why not shift it into my savings account? Because I don't need that money at the moment. I'm not going anywhere, not doing anything this weekend. Um, well, um, I, was, I'm not, I hadn't thought of doing anything. I was going to, but then I realised it was going to rain. I was going to go to the seaside. <coughs> so I moved that money. And Anna said, but, I said, yes, but the thing is, it may make me um, 20 pence this month. But after five months, that's made me a pound. And after the end of the year, that's made me two pounds extra. That's two pounds extra. And it doesn't sound much, but on the greatest thing, it's two pounds. Over 10 years, it's 20 pounds, you know. And it soon counts up and the interest and interest raises up and things like that. And it's like, yay, do you not see what I'm doing? And it's like my passive income. So yes, I do sit there. I, I love it. Going, right, how much money can I spend over? And it's like, and then Anna goes to me, but once if you run, and I went, well, it's in my savings account. Because what I do is then subconsciously, I'll go, how much have I got in my current account? Yeah, oh, I've only got 50 pounds, so I better not go and spend it. Better not go and buy that dress. But if I had like 100 pounds there, I'd go, oh yeah, I can fritter it. I can fritter my money. Oh, yeah, I can go and buy that, that um, coffee. I can do that. But because subconsciously I look at my current account and go, uh, nah, do I need that coffee? No, I'll go home and have a coffee at home. It's cheaper. It actually saves me money. 
because I suddenly look at it. I forget how much is in my savings account. And it's like, but Anna goes, oh, you're a Scrooge. I went, no, I'm not Scrooge. I'm choosing how I spend my money. A positive mindset is a key to everything we want. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, like I said, why not use these planets in retrograde to our benefit? The thing is, people are running around like this, and you could go, right, nice and calm. How can, what can I do about this? How can I take control? And like I said, we've all got to learn to take responsibility of our own life. Because it's your life. And stop giving your responsibility and your control to other people. As soon as you start blaming, oh, it's your fault this happened. But no, you chose to go into that relationship. You chose to go and work for that company. You chose to spend money on the coffee instead of spending, you know, saving it. You know, someone says to me the other day, they go, I've never got any money. Oh, it cost me so much. So I said to them, well, let's analyze you how much. It, and I know we're talking pennies, but pennies, count your pennies and, you, and, you, and, you, and your pounds count up or whatever it is. I move money, yeah. And it soon adds up. The other thing I do, the other thing, uh, way of money, <coughs> again, it annoys my daughter. I go to a food shop, okay, and I'm standing at the counter and it comes up, it's 50 pounds, okay? Your food shop costs you 50 pounds. I was ready and prepared to spend 50 pounds on my food, okay? Ready to spend 50 pounds. Because I budgeted, yeah, I'm going to spend 50 pounds. I bought this, buy this, buy this, and it comes to 50 pounds. However, when it comes to the till, it suddenly says, hey, you bought one, you get one free. Brew this, and it says you've got a savings. And it may be you've got a saving of a pound, you've got a saving of five pounds. Because I was ready and I had budgeted to spend £50 on my food, but it only cost me like 45 quid, I immediately moved that £5 difference into my savings account. And it's like, well, and it's like, well I was going to spend £50, I'd budgeted £50 on my food, my whole month has been budgeted on that, but rather than at the end of the month, I'll go, right, I'm going to move that. So whenever I get savings, because I'm going to go and buy that, and I was prepared to buy it, but it was a discount, I move that discount money into my savings account. Just try it. And I know maybe a pound here and a pound there, but if you move it there rather than at the end, because it's not there because it's like, yeah, well, I was going to budget £50, so I know it's going to cost me 50 Rather than going, oh, and it'll, you know, it cost me 45 What I do is got that £5. What I can do is, right, well, I would fritter that five quid because I'm a fritterer. I'm a fritterer. So instead of frittering it, I put it into my savings account. I can always get it back, you know, at the end of the month. It's like, shite. The shopping bill this month came to £60 because I needed to buy washing up liquid and toilet roll and things like that. I can always move it back. But it's a positive, but it's like taking control rather than going, oh, it's, you know, and I say to him, you're in, you married that person. I didn't put a gun to your head. You chose to marry him. You chose to go to that job. You chose to apply for that job. You chose to go to the interview. They offered that job. You chose to say, yes, I will work at the, with this company. Just as you chose to go to work, you can then turn around and choose to go, I don't want to work for this company anymore. I want to go and work for someone else because this company isn't treated me. You've got a choice. You all have a choice. But it's when you start taking responsibility and realising you've got the choice rather than, oh, I hate this job. It's really horrible. It's making me depressed. And I go, well, change the job. Oh, it's not as easy as you think. What do you mean? That is not the only bank in the whole world. There's other banks. That's not the only solicitors. Go and work for another solicitor. That is not the only estate agent. Go and work for another estate agent. That is not the only supermarket. Go and work for a different supermarket. That is not the only... There are more than one supermarket you can work with. There are more than one libraries you can work with. There's more than one hospital. There's more than one doctor's. There's more than one around. It's just, it's like, it's easier to keep going to somewhere that's causing you pain and upset and stress than rather, and blaming them, than standing up and taking action. And it's taking action, taking responsibility, and taking control back into your own life. 
that you will suddenly find your life. I mean, Andrea, we've done this amazing, well, you've done it all just by listening to my life. So you've done this amazing work. And look how much your life has changed. Just think, changing one tiny little thing, how much, changing your mindset, and just changing your mindset, you've now got money. You didn't realise that. So not only just changing your mindset, what else is changing your life? Just by changing your life, and it's all she's done, it's just changed her that I like my job being there for 18 years. Wow, I love it, love it, love it. Absolutely. And people appreciate you as well. So it's great. So don't change your job. But what else? You know, since you changed, and all you did was change your mindset. That's one thing. I was going to just say to something, sometimes it's all you need to do. In an aeroplane, as an aeroplane drives, flies along, an aeroplane flies, and it goes from A to B. However, if he diet deviates just one degree, just one degree, so instead of going that way, he changes one thing, the aeroplane, oh dear, and he's meant to go straight there, he's meant to land here, but by one degree, he goes lands up somewhere else. And this is what I say to people, in your life, what one thing can you, don't change the whole lot. Because you find by changing one thing, something else will change. Because you never even thought of, of, of you know, oh, I've got this up, but moving, move up. But now, with that mindset, other things are now setting into place. Isn't it lovely? Right, Love Heals Fear. This is the card for the day on my YouTube channel, Love Heals Fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. <coughs> bullies and angry people are scared and because they are scared and unhappy in their own life the only way that they can make themselves feel strong is by controlling other people and going and distracting themselves from their shit and their anger I stop thinking negatively and things have changed like there you go that's all you've done that's all you did one small thing think positive L and look what's happened your life has made a massive change and that's all you did isn't this amazing and you took control and that way is like that and it's just a and it's like angry people could be less afraid because these bullies they are scared shit and they don't want people to see how useless and insecure they are so do this they put a front on and pretend to be ah i'm really angry with this but you know what, instead of shouting and screaming angry, go, well, what can you do about changing it? Rather than blaming other people, you got yourself in that situation. Or most of the bullies, there's something going on at life. They're so unhappy and insecure. But what they want to do is to try and make them, one of their ways to make them feel better, is to have this and try and put other people down to be a bully. But then most of them are so unhappy and, and, and angry. And it's like, just send them love. And instead of being people being bullied, and I wish I'd known this, is to turn around to the bullies and say to them, do you know, I, I pity you. I really pity you. I am so glad that I, you see my life and you like to slag it off, but I said I'm so much happier than what you are. I am more content than what you are. You feel you need to be a bully and need to have these people around you to make you feel better. I don't need to have anyone around me because I am this amazing person. And that is why you feel you want to bully me because you see my light and you're scared of my light. You're scared of my love. I've had my money go further from thinking differently. Oh, there you go. Another mindset thinking differently. And it's these little things, these little tips. And it's like instead of having um starbucks five days a week have it four days a week and that money on the friday or whatever day instead of having your starbucks on a wednesday put that money of a starbucks into your bank account starbucks three quid whatever it is you spend every wednesday three quid over a 50 weeks three fives of 50 that's 150 pounds you have saved yourself just by not instead of having five starbucks a month a week having four starbucks you can make yourself £150. It's little things like that. So who wants a card? Who wants a card? So the anger, so love heals fear. And it is, it's people of fear. They are fearful and they don't like your light. 
And this is why when you suddenly go, you know what, I'm going to chuck in my life, not work nine to five and live in a motor home and travel around and do mind body spirit shows in the summer, in the winter, go to it. And people go, what, what, what? It's because you've got the strength to do it and you're showing that they're staying and they're too scared to step out of the nine to five. They're too scared to step away and don't believe that there's another way of doing things. But there are more than one way of doing things. And this is what's happening in society at the moment. Why the world is collapsing around us. Because people are realising <coughs> this story that they've told us. You need to go to school. You need a qualification. You need to work nine to five. You need to buy a house with a mortgage around you, your neck. This is what they're still educating you to do. But when you turn around and go, well, actually... I'm not going to do that. Actually, I'm going to set up my own business. Or actually, I'm going to live in a barge. Actually, I'm going to live in a caravan and in the winter go to this where it's warm. Actually, I'm going to... People don't like that because you're suddenly gone and they're going, really? I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that. It's like when I first took my son. My son is 30. So we're talking 31. So uh, 20, 22 years ago, 22 years ago, I took my son out of school. Those days, 22 years ago, home education was, what? What do you mean taking him out of school? What do you mean about this? Now, there is a hell of a lot. Well, I was one of the pioneers to take my kid out of school. And I found out legally, 22 years ago, because of this, the uh, uh, Education Act, a child does not need to be educated at school. A child needs to be educated to their intellect. But that education to their intellect can take place anywhere. You can have a governor, you can go to a private school, you can home teach, as long as they are receiving an education that is to their intellect or above, not to their below. It's no good someone who's highly intelligent go, oh, we're just going to do our ABCs today. It won't work like that. And it's like I discovered the law. And when people start going, did you know the kids don't have to go to school? But we were always told you have to go to school. You have to go to school. You have to go. And all these kids and parents who have struggle where my kids don't want to go to school. And I turn around, you know what? Instead of getting threatened with, with um, you know, you're going to get fined if your kids you go, you know what? The kid doesn't want to go to school. He's not learning anything. Why not take him out of school and home teach? Oh, I can't do that. I wasn't a qualified teacher, but I learned how to do it. And he went to university and he's done well. You look at how many of these people, Richard Branson, how many O-levels has Richard Branson got? How much, uh, Lord Sugar, does he have a degree? Many of these big business people don't have degrees. You don't need a degree. I think um, Stephen Bartlett, I don't think he's got a big degree. Don't quote me on that one. We don't need degrees. You don't need A-levels. It's just a control. And it's then, well, you haven't got maths O at GCSC. You must be thick. It's control. Bullying. Bullying from the society. Right. Who wants a card? Does anything I've talked about tonight make sense? Has anything made sense? Does anything make sense? No. Well... That's why people don't like what I'm up to, because I open other people's eyes up to realising that we've been programmed, been programmed to for control. Right, Jeanette, 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 Jeanette. I, if anyone ever wants to ask right at the beginning and about one minute in, I did do the legal disclaimer. <coughs> the legal disclaimer was done at one minute uh, in, about one minute, two minutes into this reading. So if anyone wants to watch that disclaimer or got any problems from Facebook, genius is the subjective. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a genius channeler. I channel, as you all saw on Wednesday. I can channel. Hmm. We've all got our own skills. Okay. Right, Jeanette, 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 Jeanette. Oh, hang on, I'm going to take that one. Jeanette has believe in yourself. I like this. Jeanette believes in herself. Positivity. Yeah, I can do this. You're believing yourself. You can do these things. Because why? Because I believe in it. See yourself doing well and you will. Now you've been living and realising living with positivity, look at your life. 
You see yourself doing well. You can do these things. Now that you've been looking at positive, look how well life is. It's doing for you. Believe in yourself. Don't listen to the other because they only say these things because they want to hold you down and control you. And they've told you these false stories. And they've taken your dreams away from, or you've allowed them to take your dreams away. They've allowed, but now it's like, no, I'm thinking positive. And when I go to work, I think things positive. I raise people up. And if their problem doesn't, someone doesn't done really well, rather than going, oh, you haven't hit your target, you can take them one side and go, is there a problem? Maybe I've set you too high a target. Maybe this month we'll lower your target of your sales and see if we can hit that. Or maybe we need to set, turn your way of doing things slightly different to what's more comfortable for you. But believe in yourself. And that's what it is. So that's Jeanette. Andrea, 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 Andrea has um, thankful. Oh, I like that. Look at that one, thankful. Oh, look, cuddling the cats. At, um, Andrea. So the first one was Jeanette. And this is Andrea, thankful. Think about the people and things you're grateful for. Well, we do thankful and thoughtful Thursday. So thankful. When you start giving thanks for everything you've got in your life. I thank the spiders for removing the flies. I thank the worms for aerating the soil so we can plant things. I thank for my animals. This is Andrew. I thank my animals. I thank my loyalty from my dogs. I thank whatever. I thank for that. I've got Julie in my life who does my card readings for free every day. Thank you. That's why I don't buy a pack for one. But there you are. I'm thankful. Thankful for the internet. I'm thankful for my phone. I'm thank you for my in it water in my taps. I'm thankful for my kettle. Start saying thankful. And when you give thanks for everything and anyone, I'm thankful for the sun. I'm thankful for the moon. I'm thankful for the seven planets that are going to be going in retrograde because ah, I can feel my energy and I'm a light worker. I don't know. Thankful. I'm thankful for this person. I'm thankful that I can help someone at the shopping to help them get something off the top lift. I'm thankful that someone's coming up behind me in the car. I'm able to move out the way for them to rush forward so they can get to where they want to be on time. I'm thankful for the red traffic lights. I'm thankful for the green traffic lights. I'm thankful for the dustman. <laughs> I haven't talked about the crystals at all. Thank you, it's in my journal. God, I haven't talked about the crystals. Well remembered, I forgot all about that. Um, we'll talk about, I haven't got around to think of that. So then we've got Sally. Thank you. I forgot all about the crystals, the quartz crystals. I'll talk about that in a minute. So I've done this all around the wrong way, but okay. So Sally, Sally, Sally and Lavender Moon. Thank you for that. I forgot all about crystals. So Sally, simplicity. Simplicity. Keep things simple and straightforward. Don't overcomplicate things. This is like, are they doing this or this? No, just keep simple and straightforward. I want to go and live in, 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 in Canada. Okay, what do I need to do to live in Canada? Keep it simple. Keep it straightforward. Put your energy into the basics and let go of the excess. Let go of anyone else going, whoa, you know, from the UK. Why do you want to go and live in Canada? It's nothing down to them. Brings forth truth. I'll use it for that. Keep it simple. Keep things simple and straightforward. P focus on the basics. Focus on this. Not, oh, they're doing this and they're making money out. No, that's not the simple. The simple thing is, I want the best whatever it is you want. And I'm going to focus on the basics. Not any of the bullshit, because the bullshit will fade away. And let go of the excess. Today, I was overcomplicating. There you go. That's a reminder to keep it simple. Our mind goes lavender moon, lavender moon, lavender, and then we'll very quickly talk about quartz because I've been over an hour. <coughs> Which is what lavender's moon doing. Lavender moon is share, and she's just shared. She shared her knowledge of crystals, and she's sharing her knowledge of um, uh, essential oils. Share, 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 share. Can't see the word share. When you share, everyone feels happy. Yeah, why not share the knowledge? When people don't share the knowledge, it's because it's control. I know this, and you don't need to know, and it's like. And then you get to other people's backup. I share. I try and share as much information as I can. 
because it says sharing everyone feels happy don't you hate it when everyone knows something and you don't know when everyone knows a secret and you don't like it how do you feel when everyone goes oh i know this but you don't know how do you feel how do you feel so that if some if you if someone's got a secret or knows something and they don't want to share it how do you feel you don't like it so when you feel you know some knowledge i know this information about essential oil what you share it because it's like they don't know it you're not belittling there i'm sharing my knowledge and this is what a lavender moon does she shares she shares her love and she shares her knowledge how's an hour got i can't know how does that as an hour it's gone really fast okay so manifesting so change it we talk about the clear quartz the clear quartz is our master our master crystal he is the master healer if you have no other crystals in your life the clear quartz he is the only crystal you need he does everything and anything it's a bit like lavender essential oil if in doubt lavender so lavender and clear quartz but clear quartz is the master healer he helps you to gain clarity on what you want and raises your vibration to match your desire so it's clear it's clear there's no nothing in it it's a clear quartz um and it brings clarity to your mind but he will work with uh, clear quartz will help you anything so here we are so let's see let's go clear quartz restores amplifies oh my god it's the best amplifier ever activates all seven chakra files it's a purifier it enhances mental clarity it stabilizes emotion right we all need some clear quartz while venus is in retrograde okay while venus in retrograde make sure you have a piece of clear quartz with you wherever you go for the next so long few weeks amplifies psychic abilities brings forth truth oh my god yes it makes you speak the truth and people around you aids is understanding ourselves it aids us to understand ourselves manifesting oh my god it's the best manifester ever whatever you want to manifest i want to manifest joy peace happiness i want to manifest money i want to manifest love i want to manifest a home clear quartz is the best one to use it brings wisdom it stimulates the immune system it reinstates bad in bad anything is off balance absolutely it brings everything back into balance absorbs stores and releases and regulates energy so if you've got negative energy it will absorb it and then remember to clean it i have clear quartz on my window sills to ward off um negative. i love it and my angel reiki crystal absolutely clear quartz it does i mean if in doubt use the clear quartz clear quartz is what they call the master clear master crystal the master heal and the master whatever <coughs> it is the one thing and then you've got like all the different quartz you've got smoky quartz rose quartz lavender quartz so you have all these but they're all part of the quartz and like you've got the quartz the clear quartz it's the main crystal but then you split it off the rose quartz helps with love smoky quartz your base chakra it grounds you but the clear quartz is the master so if in doubt go for a clear quartz and when you meditate and you want to manifest you want to attract a, a, a abundance whatever you want in your life work with the clear quartz and if you're doing a grid using different crystals and you're thinking it's not working or it's out of balance clear quartz will bring you back in balance it will realign you it will clear it's clear quartz it will clear your mind it clears yourself of the monkey mind it clears yourself of the unwanted um excess it clears yourself of the shit it clears yourself it clears it's a clear quartz it's a clearing crystal the name is the hint um it says i have clear quartz on my window seals to ward off negative i love that and my angel reiki crystal oh my god yeah absolutely i mean i've got i love my i've got all sorts of different i've got tumble stones i've got the pyramid shapes um uncut i've got loads of different types of quartz I have them dotted all around the house actually but yeah clear quartz is the master one so together with the clear quartz and lavender essential oil you're set up i have selenite and black tourmaline on mine clear is all four corners of my home and above my friend oh yes love it love it love it love it love it yes yeah, sel well i have selenite i've got black i think black tourmaline is at my front door wards off any negativity 
I think I've also got a piece of rose quartz there as well. I think I've got three. I can't remember what three things. I mean, my my bedroom is full of it. My lounge is full of crystals, almost too much. Um, some of them actually could do with a cleanse, actually, because they've been there for so long. Um, but yeah, so hopefully tonight has made sense. I hope it has. So I'm going to finish now because uh, I've done my card. Oh, there's cards. Oh, <laughs> Wishing you an absolutely amazing week. Thank you for every one of you who've turned up every day this week. It really means so much to me. I am so blessed that you all take an hour out of your life each day to come and join me in my madness, to take time out to comment and to share your knowledge and wisdom. It's, it's an absolute privilege and an honour to share and connect with you amazing people so thank you thank you thank you and thank you to everyone who shares my lives thank you for everyone who sort of sort talks about me in a positive way behind my back in a way that yeah i know someone who does the card readings watch her i know someone who knows about crystals watch her life i know a few people have mentioned and passed on because i've got some people now who come on quite regularly who were recommended so thank you recommendation is the highest form of flattery thank you for taking time out so i'm going to wish you i also have black tarramaline and clear and it oh my gosh you do like your black tarramaline like to be grounded and protected and that's what we all need to be done okay i'm going to love you and leave you we're nearly we're nearly at one hour and 11 minutes we're nearly we're an hour and 10 minutes so i'm going to finish waffling and try and get on to an hour and 11 minutes Thank you everyone for joining me this week. Next week on Tuesday we have a 7-7 seven, seven portal as well as the first quarter moon. We've got, we're definitely in the Venus retrograde. So be aware of the um, energies and rather than being against you, work with them in control. I know, one hour, 11 minutes and one second. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you all on Monday. Take care. Namaste. Bye, 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 bye.